Welcome to Forensic Detectors. I am Dr. Cause your guest me guest analyzer and gas detector expert, folks. And today we're talking about Dr. Cause. Do I need the gas sample pump with your gas detector? Yes or no? Folks, great question. If you are thinking about that, congratulations, you are on the right track. Let's have a quick look now what we're talking about exactly. This is our basic gas sample pump. I'll turn it on and I'll turn it off. Now, what's going on? Air is being drawn from the end here, point, source, coming through our stainless steel probe into the micro pump, circulates the air onto the bulb. Obviously, this comes off, guys, okay? There's a bulb there that expels the air out. Tubing comes with our gas sample pump, our silicone tubing. Very important to have the silicone tubing and onto the end, which typically should be your calibration cap that comes with your detector. In this case, we're talking about the FD90A version. This is our carbon monoxide detector, folks. So this would be the typical setup. Air is drawn into the pump, expelled onto the detector sensor head. The sensor is right there, folks. That is the circle yellow part. That's where the sensor is. So that's the setup with a pump. So Dr. Cos, you haven't answered my question. Of course, I'm getting there. Check it out, folks. So with the pump, forced air situation. Without the pump, it's what we call natural diffusion. Air is just being detected at the adjacent volume of space onto the sensor. Molecules are going in, molecules are going out, and the sensor detector is detecting whatever is in this vicinity. So, for example, if you're taking an indoor measurement analysis, you have your detector. It's detecting the volume of space. You pop it on the table, you let it sit there for at least 60 seconds, the levels, the levels will stabilize, and you take Take your measurement. That is a typical situation, folks. When you need the pump is when you are doing a localized point sample situation, when you have a restricted volume of space, or you're trying to find a leak, such as a gas leak. You're trying to find a leak, carbon monoxide in a heat exchange, in a ventilation system, or you're trying to take an air sample from a bag, a food sample, a packaging, or you're a technician and you want to sample what's going on in the tank. You can't throw your whole hand in with the detector in the tank. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to have a gas sample pump and you're going to pop the nozzle in and you're going to take a sample of gas. So. The answer to the question is when you have a localized volume of space, we recommend the sample pump. When you have a general larger volume of space, such as an indoor volume of space, you can just use the diffusive mode with the sensor, the detector, as it is, folks. Now, Dr. Cars, you have the FD600, this monster version. And he has the micro pump built in. That's right, folks. This is our FD600 version. As you could see, we sell this primarily for applications that need the pump. It has a built in pump, a micro pump, folks. It draws air in at the top over here, folks. We pop the probe and people or customers point sample or a needle for headspace analysis or a four, five, six inch probe for welding analysis. So this is typically used for localized gas sampling applications. Can I use it for general indoor large volumes of space? Absolutely. It's drawing in a large volume of space. You pop it on the table, 60 seconds. You take your reading, folks. The same. So if you have the pump, that's fine. If you don't have the pump, you're somewhat limited to what you can do in terms of um, localized point sampling. You will be restricted. So that's the answer to the question, folks. Local or not local, general or point specific. That will determine if you need a gas forced air pump situation. Have a great day. See you soon.